we've got to give ourselves to this struggle until the end. Nothing would be more tragic than to stop at this point in Memphis. I want to thank God once more for allowing me to be here with you. I left Atlanta this morning and then I got into Memphis. And some began to say the threats, or talk about the threats that were out. Uh, what would happen to me from some of our sick white brother? Well, I don't know what will happen now. We've got some difficult days ahead. But it really doesn't matter with me now because I've been to the mountaintop. <laughs> Like anybody, I would like to live a long life. Longevity has its place. But I'm not concerned about that now. I just want to do God's will. And he's allowed me to go up to the mountain. And I've looked over. And I've seen the promised land. I may not get there with you, but I want you to know tonight that we as a people will get to the promised land. Yo, welcome to the Lion Podcast. Like it or not. The live is show in the O. We're ready to go. I got the broskies in this bitch. To my right, sup, OGB. Hello, everybody. Filling in for JJ. It's Mr. That's some white people shit. What's up, Clemmy? What's up? What's up? And I'm your host, Corey Tokes. Thank you for tuning in. We missed your face. It's another lovely show today. We got some good stuff to talk about, I think. We're going to kick it off with some inspired or not. The key to... Life is accepting challenges. When someone stops doing this, he's dead. Mike, what do you, <laughs> you think about that, man? In the three seconds I've had to think about it, I think, uh, well, you know, I try to live by this rule myself. You got to challenge yourself every day yeah. in some way, shape, or form. You know, I don't care on any level, you know. You see a set of stairs, instead of walking up them, run up them. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that, actually. And I do that, too. I don't think about it that hard. But I do. I'm like, man, I gotta constantly be challenging myself. Look to, look to, look to be better in any way I can. And and it's hard sometimes because yeah. improve yourself, work on personality, work on anything. Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah sometimes you run out die. of fucking challenges though. Yeah, you're like, shit. I but gotta, I gotta be competitive somehow. That's 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 some of our life, baby. Yeah, you can't right. let the warriors die, baby. Yeah, that's right. It's easier like when you that. got ki it's easier when you got kids to be that yeah. way though, because you could always try to beat your kids. Yeah, you yeah. know what I mean. And they're getting older, <laughs> and you're like, shit, this is, this ain't easy no yeah. more. Especially your you guys yeah. and I'm, your it's kids. Almost, it's almost there. Yeah, both yeah. It's almost leveling up. But yeah. he is level, and yours almost <laughs> level yeah. is what that is. Both your kids uh -huh. are getting there and in age, and, and it keeps you motivated because it's like you don't have a chance to think about it. Yeah. You got to stay motivated because, like, they feeding off your energy. Right. So, yeah. Right. You right. Gotta keep you're the leader. Mind. You're the you're the drill sergeant. You're you the, set you're the, the dude. example. Yeah. Yeah. And, and you got to set the example, and right, Mike? Any type of leadership, people lead. It's people follow you easier if they see you doing the same thing. That's just, that's it. That's it. it, man. You could talk until your fucking tongue falls off, but right. it don't mean nothing, man. You lead by example, man. Right. That, but, and that's why social media got everybody messed up because we just spend most of the time arguing about who's right and who's wrong, and nobody's leading by shit. Uh -uh. And we're uh -huh. just following. It's in the doing, not the saying. Exactly. Right. Exactly. Right. I, I used to say, speak. Uh, don't speak about it. Be about, be about it. it. Right. Yeah. As right. as we get caught up in the imagery. Of social media, and it keeps us, you know, it's on purpose. It's, yeah. They're winning because that's what they want to do. You Hell know what I'm yeah. saying? They want to keep us distracted on, Hell yeah. you know. That's right. Keep us chasing Man, our tails, running around in a little circle. Exactly. So while they, we're chasing our the tails, thing we I, can make you a few dollars. You could do whatever you want. You get kicking back. Yeah. You can hypnotize me on social media. Just get rid of those fucking commercials. <laughs> 
What the fuck is all that? There's so many commercials, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get that shit out of there. There's so much. You know what? Yeah, on social media, like that. Some dangerous ads, man. Like shit that is like unhealthy and bad. It is not. They're selling as like the newest, latest, greatest fucking. Most of them bitches are viruses. Fuck. Y'all motherfuckers, man. Coronavirus. Coronavirus. Yeah, coming through the fucking man. That's some real shit though. But tell me, I can buy. Half a million dollar home shit. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Got you believe it. Yeah. <laughs> Hype. <laughs> but on a real note, I wanna I wanna give a big grand salute to Black History Month. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Uh, yep, yep. I wanna make sure that's uh now if you're asking why the big salute to Black History Month, well, besides the fact that they're two and a half more li- times more likely to be killed by law. Besides the fact that they're discriminated against all over America, such as the banks, situations, prisons, and there's a list of endless other shit, you just got to pay attention to see it. Besides the fact that we all share the same pride and love for our country, the same deep-rooted feeling of patriotism, yet the military history of African Americans spans from the arrival of the first enslaved Africans during the colonial history of the United States to the present day. Mm -hmm. In every war fought by or within the United States, African Americans participated, including the Revolutionary War, Mm-hmm. The War of 1812, yes, sir. the Mexican-American War, exactly. the Civil War, mm-hmm. the Spanish-American War, mm-hmm. the World Wars, right. the Korean War, the Vietnam War, the Gulf War, the wars in Afghanistan, Iraq, and other minor conflicts. Because the fact, we would, we, we, besides the fact that we wouldn't even need Black History Month if it was taught year-round alongside with the other histories as a part of a regular curriculum. Mm-hmm. Understanding black history, the real black history, is paramount for modern day students because knowing and understanding it helps students think critically about present day issues. So, yes, I salute all my brothers and sisters. I celebrate all of you as well and uh, enjoy your month. Amen. Yep. So I get that off. Diversity is the, the superpower of this country, yeah. man. I'm waiting for people to understand that. Yeah, yeah it, that's what makes America great. Exactly. That's why, exactly what makes exactly. America great. Why can't it, you know, eventually become just, you know, America one history, one history yeah. taught, you yeah. know? Yeah. Well, instead, it was, instead of it, being separate. It was. No, I'm saying yeah, black right. history integrated with, you know, make it make it history. Right, yeah. Yeah. Make, right. Make it a part one, of the history. curriculum. Make yeah. it all of it, not yeah. separate. Right. Well, that's why I said yeah, it integrated together. with all yeah. the other histories. Absolutely. But yes, not taught I agree. separately, but taught as it's taught. Right. You know, yeah, it's part it, of it. it's yeah. taught, but it's not taught today. It's a, They graze over it in the most grazing way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, they, yeah. 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 It's yeah. pretty grazy. You know, yeah. it's, <laughs> it's really great. I like that a lot. It's very grazy. Yeah. It's, it's like I a like glaze. It's like a graze. nick. Yeah. It's a, yeah. It's I a, put more glaze on my damn <laughs> salmon <laughs> than they graze the back. You know what I mean? The, the, I hope you come to class that one day. Yeah. <laughs> exactly, bro. <laughs> we did talk about it. Yeah. You're like, huh? What? Yeah. There was that one question. <laughs> that one question. It was MLK was the answer. <laughs> yeah. That was it. That's it. Jesus, yeah, but yeah, right. so, but yeah, man. Um, we got a beautiful country. Yes, sir. You know what I mean, and it's it's awesome when it's working right, and right. we're all together, and and we could take back the power as people yep. when we are together. Yep. See, the 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 misconceptions, funny man, that if we're divided, you know, you know, it's white man and all that I'm shit, and man, it's just like, no, man, you don't understand. You don't understand. Everybody's scared of the government. We are the government if right. we get our shit together. Right. But that, but they, but you know, that's that's another story. Interesting story about Black History. I met a guy on a job about last week. We were just out talking, and um, he was like, "You know, the first person in my family was black coming to America. This guy's white, like oh shit, Lily White." And I, right. I don't know if that's a term, correct mm-hmm. term. <laughs> but anyways, he said they did the um the DNA ancestry thing. Right. And it came back that the first person to touch American soil in his family was a black man. And he was five percent black. Bro. Wow. And the five percent was from that guy touching America. So and he said that, that when they trace back the history, when America when when they first got here, it wasn't so much divisiveness. So 
it was intercultural marriages going on and no one said anything because everybody just got here. They ain't right, like, right. We right. don't have any rules yet. It's right, just like right. it's the raw it's America. Right. Yeah. Raw America. So. Everybody's gotta have pussy. Yeah. So right. <laughs> hey, everybody got everybody, hey, that's or, another shirt. Yeah. That's another shirt. Lion needs to pop. Lion podcast. Everybody's gotta have some pussy. Yeah. Shout out. <laughs> Straight up. But yeah, man, that's that's interesting. Cause if you I mean, you know the guy too if you see them you would never it would never cross your mind wow because it's like it's is there any hint no hint of blackness no hint of blackness that's cool though yeah Yeah. so it's like he just that side of his family just people don't realize that shit man we're all together hey we're all immigrants too man we're all do we're all from somewhere well do you think how long do you think that it'll take the world for everyone to be the same color. Will never. It I don't think oh, it'll never happen. It'll never happen. Or say three quarters of it, or half of it. I, I, say like all of the world, all be of over. the Western Hemisphere, North and South America. The way we're handling business, how, no, we'll never see that day. <laughs> <laughs> no, we the climate of something again. Us. <laughs> <laughs> For real, dude. Yeah, yeah, something again, bro. Or something. So, bro, I was just watching some freaky shit about the sun the other day, and it had like a five hundred mile or a five hundred thousand mile. Um, area of it it burns at three million degrees i believe well that area it was uh-huh. like a dark patch it b- burned at one million degrees and it was like they yeah. called it like they called it like a weak spot in it they Jeez. said if it rotates and it comes to us we'll all die because we'll go into an ice age and shit because mm. it don't but it's it's not hot enough or it's too hot it won't be hot enough right? look man that shit's wow. been there for a good billion years that yeah we're, we're, good. we're just now finding about you just find okay. yeah. that last yeah. spot was there on purpose yeah. we're about to send some it's shit still out weird there to study though. the sun it's still yeah. weird though that there's a part of the sun that's, that we just that's, that's see. not cooking like the other one and it's like faded it's not as bright it's, it's got they could see it from telescopes and shit it's, it's a big it looks like a big dark patch it's got light years on it and eventually everything is gonna be, go back to darkness. yeah maybe we need to start treating each other right so the sun keeps burning yeah maybe and maybe it feeds <laughs> off love maybe god's about Who to turn the lights thought? out and it's yeah. like fuck it dude i'm done with this room yeah <laughs> y'all y'all motherfuckers are stupid click yeah <laughs> hands hovering over the lights. yeah switch. no jesus like i made you all different no colors jesus. and you still can't wanna, figure it out you no stupid jesus. i don't want to do it but i'll do it <laughs> that's why you came back for us Lord. <laughs> for real man for real oh man but yeah that is right i mean it's, if it's that possible that's crazy we'll talk about intergalactic scares though yeah. getting off topic but there is an asteroid coming danger close like in intergalactic terms to earth no it's shit gonna be one of them near miss you know it's yeah. gonna miss us by uh, like f- but, fucking whatever but that's five what million, 500 miles but it's that's, like, that's 500 close. miles ain't no, I'm shit saying, i'm yeah. just saying it's yeah. it's close for space is what they're saying that's very close. that's why we need a, <laughs> that's why we need a space force to yeah. blow some shit like that up yeah. when it's coming this way i'm with you on that okay that's oh. why we need the Space Force. Yeah, for sure. Well, I agree mean, with that. The Space Force, people say anything that come out of the sky, they shooting it down. <laughs> <laughs> so what they got? Oh, we already hey, on that. Bro, come bro, on, bro, man. Bro, come on, We're man. We're in America. We've been on yeah, that but, shit. But think about it. What do they have already in their arsenal to make that statement? Like, mm-hmm. whatever they comes. They wouldn't be admitting it if they yeah, didn't have exactly. it. Exactly. They wouldn't even make it's that proclamation. the same reason I laugh at all these gun people who are worried about the government coming to get them. Right, no. It's like, dude, if they want you dead, yeah. you're dead, bro. They it, got it, Thrones. Yeah, you pack for days. Secret agent. Yeah, well, that's Janet the one Reno, thing. your shit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Shout coming out to Janet Reno, old shit. school. <laughs> po- Real <laughs> talk, Gonzalez. Real talk, man. Real talk. That's some that's funny proof shit right there. The government will come and just get you. They will, man. She's but it. Like, well, go ahead. Janet was like, "I want Ilion out of there in two days." They was like, <laughs> "Fuck you, Janet." Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you. Go back to your country. Jada said, okay. We'll make it. How, how, about eight, how about eight hours? I'll be there. <laughs> With a SWAT team. Right. Yeah. Oh, Ileana, oh, man. Shit. Shout out to Ileon where he at right yeah, now. Yeah, What is, where is he? What happened? Who the What's fuck up? knows? Gonzalez. <laughs> Who the fuck knows? I know I know 19 Gonzalez's. <laughs> that mo- one of them might be fucking yeah, Ileon. I don't know. Hey, There's a bazillion aliens. Hey, man. But uh, y'all ever fuck with energy drinks? Mm. I do uh, five hour energy drinks. Uh, that ain't the same. Yeah, I'm talking about regular energy drinks. Those, That's what this is about. What, mm. like monsters or something? Yeah, monsters. Those things are fucking horrible. horrible. No, no, they're horrible for Every you, man. Dude, like, if it's, I can't thanks stand for the telling taste, me now, guys. It's got to be like a dire, like, thanks real, for, like, thanks. tight for okay. me to drink one of those. Strike one. They're they're about a fucking half gallon size. They're like sixteen ounce cans, and, <laughs> yeah, and two they fucking taste like shit. Right. 
You know, at least with the five hour energy, it's no. a shot, no. bam, and they taste good and no. that shit works. And it's all, it's just a fucking shit ton of B12. It's yeah. all natural. Right. Yeah. And, they say no crash. That, and they say no you true. could overdose on the B12. So listen, Uh-oh. so this okay. is what it is. It says, the article reads, even just one energy drink can harm your blood vessels, studies suggest. Years of research have identified a variety of serious health risks associated with downing a couple of energy drinks, such as liver damage, in- increased blood pressure, and tooth erosion, and God. more. Yeah, dude. So, um, <laughs> ju- yeah, man. Just hey. just off fucking energy drinks, but um, uh, yeah, it's not fucking good, man. It's not. It, it, there's a bunch of uh, and it's very corrosive too. If you look on, oh yeah, on like on YouTube, they got all these different scientific experiments using energy drinks and it's not a good thing to put inside yeah the uh the health risks are they go on and on i'm just looking right here um so we got let's see the dangers associated with energy drinks for blah, 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 blah. no 15 dangers i know i saw it over here okay cardiac arrest <clears throat> that's self-explanatory right. everybody knows what that is <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Corey. Uh, yeah. Headaches and migraines. Too many energy drinks can lead to severe headaches from caffeine withdrawal symptoms. Changing the amount of caffeine you ingest daily can cause more frequent headaches. Increased in anxiety. Those with two different genetic variations in their adenosine receptors are prone, <laughs> prone to feeling increased. That's exactly what that's Are saying. prone to feeling increased anxiety. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I got two of those. Hey, 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 hey. Everybody gets two. Both of you. I got a testicle for each. (laughs) Receptors prone to feeling increased anxiety with consumed caffeinated. You sound like you're talking about liquid meth or something, dude. (laughs) You're talking about receptors. Radiator fluid. Bro, I'm not even close. Insomnia. Damn. So energy drinks do a good job of keeping people awake, but when abused, they can cause some people to miss sleep altogether. Whoa. Uh, Type 2 diabetes. Whoa, bro. Uh, Drug interaction. Some, Some of the ingredients in energy drinks can interact with prescription medications, especially medications taken for depression. Addiction. People can become addicted. Everybody knows that. Hey, imagine uh, you drink your energy drink with your with your quaalude Dude. in the morning. It, <laughs> it's uh, legal mask gone down. <laughs> risky, ri- risky behavior. There was risky a, behavior. Risky. I want to read this one. It make your dick hard too. What is risky? Hey. Hey. Okay, risky behavior. Yeah. What the hell? Is if that? it make your hey. dick hard, bro. I want to read hey. this one. Hold on. There was a study published in the Journal of American College Health, uh-huh. which showed that the teens are more likely to take dangerous risks when high on caffeine. God. This could result in injury or legal trouble. Oh, I man. guess that makes sense. Yeah, that yeah. makes sense. Yeah, they're fucking kids, man. They can't handle this shit. Jitters and nervousness. Yep. Too much caffeine, yada yada, vomiting. Mm. Too many energy drinks can lead to vomiting. This causes dehydration and acid erosion of the teeth and esophagus. And uh, yeah, yeah, frequent. okay, yeah. they're bad. We okay, get we get it. High blood pressure, liquid milk, yeah, yeah. niacin liquid. overdose. You okay, can buy this milk is at Seven <laughs> Eleven. Hold on, the niacin <laughs> overdose is interesting. This place most energy drinks. Niacin. Hmm. Yeah. A lot of that. Well, that's what's in your uh, five-hour energy drinks, Mike. But not as they use it. a lot of B twelve. That's B. That's B12. is that B twelve? Yeah. That's what that is. How do you OD on it? What's the symptoms? Of uh, death. That's probably why I passed out at Fa Noodle. <laughs> You passed out a five noodle. How <laughs> I many? What? You didn't hear that story? Uh-uh. That's another time. Yeah. He passed out because them five noodles are so fucking good. Uh, just, bro, wolf down six pounds of noodles yo, in shout, about thirty seconds. Yo, Ooh. shout out to so delicious. Shout out to five oh, yeah. noodles real quick. Yo, your noodles is fire over there, Jimmy. You keep them coming, buddy. You keep them coming. Thank you, Mister Jimmy. Yeah, but yeah, he had a he had an interesting deal over there. Mm-hmm. Stress Mark. hormone release. Mm. Mental health problems, man. Yep, and that's the fifteen. So yeah, don't don't drink energy drinks; they'll fucking kill you. So I got a story. <laughs> so I got a story. Natural forms of PSC, energy. Bro. There's well, well, there's this all is, kinds of cocktails out there you can make right, natural th- thank stuff. Thank you, Mike. Yeah. That's exactly what I was going to. So I was driving home from I, work one they're day. They're not right? as good. This I was driving home from work one day, or actually I was going to work, or I don't fucking remember. I almost died, bro. 
Dude. Like my heart started fucking fluttering and shit, and okay. I, dude, I something I've never felt before, dude. And when I tell you this, man, I'm telling you, like, I, bro, I was fucking scared, man. It was a wow. check engine light for real. Yeah, I was wow, in the middle man. of the fucking road, dude, and my heart starts fucking fluttering. And this uh-huh. was this was a while ago, dude. This was like almost ten years ago. Wow. <clears throat> so. It hard. starts going boom, 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 boom. So I'm like, holy <laughs> fuck, dude. So I get over to the fucking He's like slow Prince lane. Sanford. Here, here and then I'm about Elizabeth. to. No, I was right at Lake Mary is where I was. And I and I get over to slow lane. And I'm about to take the shoulder. And then I fucking start coming back. And I'm like. <laughs> and I was, you know, I'm trying to get the fucking work or wherever right. I'm going. So I'm trying, you know, figure out what the fuck's going on and think, all right, I might. I'm just going to go to the hospital. You right. know, I'm thinking yeah, all these yeah, things. Yeah. Well, Definitely knocking on the door, bro. when <laughs> when I got done and things came back to me, uh-huh. I, I just started thinking in my head, because whenever you do some shit or you get older, you start going through shit, shit like that. You start thinking, OK, what, right. what do I do different today that I haven't been doing? If I have a different diet, right. if I had a different. And the only thing that I could think of is I introduced energy drinks because I used to drink them with vodka. Oh, I would yeah. have kettle kettle ones and Red That's Bull. That's a good drink. And dude, That's it came to it is, is the, a good drink. It's a drink. It's a fucking drink that yeah. was so good that I drank so many of them, man. Yeah. I was getting I was out there. That was when we were calling shit crunk. Yeah. I was getting yeah, shit crunk. Yeah. 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 I was wilding. Yeah, baby. Yeah. I was wilding out. So yeah. I was wild for the night. So that's the only difference. And I cut that out because uh-huh. it scared me, dude. I th- thought I was going to fucking die, dude. Right. So I cut that out. And then the next thing you know. I, I mean, we're old enough. I, we done had like four of them episodes. Never happened yes. again. Yes, yes, never yes, happened yes, again. Yes, yes. Yeah. Never happened again. You Here I am. One, bro. I'm almost 40 years old. Keep, never happened. Keep living. You, you, you are. Yeah, but 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 ever since then, dude, I straightened out like a lot, bro. Yeah, that, like you, that, you, was a, that was another. You are disciplined about that, kid. Very, yeah, very. I think that's that. what was happening with me while I was having those episodes and passing out too, because uh, you know I was drinking. I drink like two of those five-hour energy drinks a day for a while. For years, I was oh, doing that shit, and yeah. then uh, here lately after that episode of Fall, I started backing off of them. But now it's like I quit drinking them. It takes a while because then you're like, oh, you, so yeah, they're so addictive, t- man. Yeah. I was actually addic- felt like I was addicted to them. You easily. Oh, it said it's like, a, I dude, felt like I needed it every it's morning. A, you, know? Hey, you know how addictive they are, Mike? It's an $82 billion business <laughs> annually. Wow, yeah. Yep. $82 that. billion yeah. Dollars yeah. Crazy. annually. Yep. They got a lot of my money. Yeah. I should have bought stock. And, and it's well known that they're killing people, dude. This isn't new news. They're What's just that? getting more and more data on this shit, dude. It's it's it's, it's more. It's got to be a chemical out there that they put. They in put an addictive that, ingredient in yeah, it. Makes you crave for it. Something. Yeah, it's called yeah. energy drinks. Yeah. Don't drink them. <laughs> well, those but first I mean, couple it's days the same are. Thing with yeah. certain foods, it's like yeah. riding down the street and smelling McDonald's. You gonna stop? Oh, true. I got over that. You got over what? The fast food stuff, but uh, it those first couple of days without energy drinks mm-hmm. were uh, were good. Uh, were rough. I mean, it was rough to get through. But after that, man, it's like I started to feel really good and feel good all day. And then I wasn't a coffee drinker before, but now I drink like one to two cups, man. Right. And there's nothing wrong with that, dude. Coffee you know, some good coffee in moderation. Man. In moderation, I'm drinking too much coffee lately, man. Starbucks got but me fucking cracked out of helps. my head. It helps. I mean, I drink one or two cups a day. I love Starbucks. I got to do so. more smoothies in between the bucks. Yeah. yeah you gotta, I got to get a smoothie you know every once in a while in the I morning. It, I try to get a, if I remember, get a large cup of water with it. Try to yeah. Come back and chase yeah. it. You know oh, absolutely. I do that, it. but man, I know I feel like the vitamins in a smoothie. Every uh-huh. once in a while, oh, yeah, skip yeah. the coffee yeah, and just so. go get a smoothie, man, yeah. or something like that. Yeah. You know, mix it up. But yeah, uh, the energy drinks are. I had to go over that because that shit is. Uh, and then I had another buddy that was hospitalized. Wow. And he had the doc told him straight up. He said uh, it's because of your consumption. They they did all his checks and everything, and then he told him he drinks energy drinks, and he was like, "Oh, mm-hmm. okay, wow. that makes sense." So it's. It's like a, and the thing is, you don't know how your heart is. Yeah. Some you, people's you, heart can yeah, take more than, more than others. others. Right, right, right. But and it's only a matter of time. At. It's obvious it's bad for yeah. you, man. Come yeah. on, man. Speeding up the progression. The shit is fentanyl. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Get the shit out. That's legal meth. Right, <laughs> legal meth. You right, get man. It's time 11. to move on. Yeah. yeah. Two for five dollars. Two for five. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yo, remember those four, four what was it? Los four Locos? Four, four Locos, oh, bro. That malt the liquor, en- boy. Bro, bro that's an energy drink malt liquor, yes, bro. Yes, it was dangerous. That shit killed some, some people. Yeah, I done had some strange I drink. guarantee that shit what about, killed shout more Shout out people. to old school St. Ives, man. St. Ives. Oh, man. St. Ives. Yes, that's bro. some funny ass shit, yep. man. I had some weird nights. Nice you ever drank shit. Cisco? Yes, sir. Oh, man, Cisco, man. I, I woke up the next day and my car was gone and I had yeah. cigarette burns on my forearm. <laughs> yeah, I, was like, that shit, I didn't know what the fuck happened. That shit, that shit was, was liquid crack. S- it was syrup. Yeah, it was. It was yeah. fucking syrup. Yeah, yeah. Shit. Yeah. I um. put that shit on my pancakes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, man. Hey, yeah, well, yeah, that was that was the uh, drink of choice, that in MD 2020 yeah. when I was in the Marines. Yeah, so we'd, we'd take a pint mad of that dog. shit out in the fucking boonies with us. Yeah. Y'all, I, I hope y'all kept your clothes on. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Word up. <laughs> Yo, we're gonna take a break real quick. We're gonna come back and we're gonna talk some other stuff. All right, man. Shoot. Yo, so, uh... Welcome back, Lion Podcast. Clemmy filling in for JJ. Yo, yo. Who is Kendrick Johnson? Do any of y'all know who that is? Mike, Mm. Clemmy? Only because uh, you told me before the show and I looked it up. Well, Well, um, don't cheat. Clemmy, you know who that is? I I didn't know. Bro, you know, know I think this one slipped through the cracks, Clemmy. And the reason I say that is because Trayvon happened in 2012. Yeah, okay. And that carried out how many years? Like two, three. It was like two, three years. This happened in 2013. Uh And I think we missed this one, man. But this dude, Kendrick, on January 11, 2013, the body of Kendrick Johnson was discovered inside a vertical rolled up mat in a gymnasium in Lowndes High School in Valdosta, Georgia, Mm -hmm. where he was a student. A preliminary investigation and autopsy concluded that the death was an accident. Mm -hmm. So he was uh, he was upside down. So it was positional asphyxia. They said he was. They found a shoe at the bottom of this mat, right? Mm-hmm. That he was upside down. You know, the, like those yeah, gym mats yeah, and yeah. those gymnasium mats, mats, right? Yeah. Wrestling mats or uh-huh. cheerleading mats, whatever. Right. So he was upside down in one of those. Well, well, uh, 
that he he started bleeding because after so long your heart you know mm. goes out and you start bleeding well the problem was uh-huh. the puddle of blood was at the bottom of the floor but the shoe that they said he was reaching for didn't have no blood on it what it was sitting on top of it and, and he was the sh- he was above the shoe his he, body was yeah he was reaching down so, so the, but there's no blood so on hold the on there's more so then uh-huh. there was two other shoes there was another set of shoes found this is a gymnasium now right there's another set of shoes found nearby yeah. And I'm talking about, they said it was yards away. So whatever that is, you know, it could be a fucking football field. Yeah. Away, but they said it was yards away in a gymnasium. But then uh-huh. a few feet away, there was a sweater. And it, the sweater had appeared to be a blood stain on uh, the cuff of the sweater. Uh, then on the wall, there was like six or seven blood stains. And I'm talking about, dude... These weren't just little blood stains. It was in the same part of the wall. Uh-huh. It was like maybe three foot wide at the most. Maybe, wow. And that's even stretching it because it looked like it looked more concentrated. It so, looked yeah. like a foot and a half. Sound, yeah, I was going to say a foot and a half. Yeah. Sound like a homicide, bro. Absolutely. And that's exactly what we're saying and they're saying. So, so then uh, the blood on the wall, it's not a little, man. It's not like somebody, dude, it, it's, it's. It's, yeah. it's significant so, amounts yeah. of blood like on the wall. Spl- like it got splattered. Right. Mm. So this dude also was miss- missing a piece of his tongue. What? He was beat up. His neck was found uh, when they did the autopsy. They said there was blunt force trauma to his neck also. What? Then the fucking investigator, there were 700 photos taken of the scene. Uh-huh. And nobody, nobody even questioned... Uh, the evidence, the shoes, which wow. appeared to have blood on them, that was found in there. No mm-hmm. DNA samples were taken. And no DNA samples or nothing. They didn't. They, they Open took and seven, shut case. They yeah. took seven hundred fucking photos of the scene, and right. they didn't test any of the evidence. Wow. So this uh, this FBI guy, this retired guy, comes in and he's like, "Dude, usually it's a bag and tag situation. It's standard practice. All you do is you come in." And you see something like that. And if you don't know what it is, you put it in a bag and you tag it. Right. Like it's standard practice. practice. That's standard you should be procedure. doing this shit. Yeah. So, and they didn't bag and tag nothing. They just took photos and. So I got. got rid of so it. here goes the conspiracy. Okay, here we go. Because I got a conspiracy on this yeah, shit. Let's, let's, I was smoking it. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. It was footage. Whoa. Bro, there was four different camera angles of this place. There was, and they, they weren't inside the gym. They were out. One was inside the gym at the door, but it didn't, it couldn't see the back where it happened, mm. really. The first camera, the footage was tampered with. Yeah, okay. It that cuts off, it cuts off at 12.04 p.m. and picks up at 1.09 p.m., a little over an hour. That's an hour. Yeah, that's a good time. Yeah. There, there was consistent footage from a second cam. Uh-huh. But it too died at 11.05 a.m. and picked back up more than two hours later at 1.15 p.m. Oh. There was a third camera. Yes, sir. Also dropped at 11.05, as did the uh, second camera, Uh and picked back up at 1.16, virtually the same as the second camera. Right. So, and then the fourth camera did the same thing as the first camera. The footage was tampered with at 12.04 to 1.09. So, at a school where you need that much security, yeah, security for one yeah. little area, yeah, 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 let's say, yes, sir. self-explanatory. Yeah. Okay, we get that. Yeah. So, my conspiracy yeah. comes from, what if, uh-huh. you know how kids, you know, it's dangerous, man. You know, dangerous minds and shit like that. It's very, they're very territorial, the uh-huh. gangs and shit like that. And you, right. And a lot of these teachers have to fight back you right. know what i mean like and they don't get paid enough to do that shit right let's be real dude right. teachers ain't getting paid shit yeah they ain't yeah. getting nothing to, yeah. to fight back and so you said getting followed back so your like conspiracy it. i think is the principal i think the, the principal, principal got it i think the somebody, always, a, uh, a teacher. i think in a school a like official. that yeah i think in a school like that they yeah. they have this little behind the scenes game dude, and they work stu- with law enforcement or a, 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 a child of yeah. a school administrator. Yeah, if it, well, a, a high, a the high plot p- thickens. Yeah. To Mike's point, you might yeah. be right, Mike, because they raided uh, two kids that were FBI kids. FBI, they raided what? an FBI house, dude. FBI. To this, they didn't find nothing. 
So the Val but these kids, so, so, they, they so, thought that so, these so, kids really had to. So let me like, get this straight: you got kids going to high school, and well, their parents. Well, are there was part of FBI. there were seven kids that were seen on that camera going into the gym before Kendrick did, right? right. On the day, but the camera goes out, so you, so don't, see you don't see kids, shit. Lady. Those kids, those kids, and so and they they aren't they releasing the that, background and they're it. not giving the parents those identities of those kids. What? Yes, so, because those kids were the kids that committed the crime. I Absolutely. don't, I don't know, Absolutely. or was it? Yeah. Or was it? Yeah. No, because the only reason why I say that is okay. If you got two FBI kids, not saying yeah, they're FBI, the FBI kids. kids are in the worse than anybody. They're else covered up. Saying. Yeah, they're covered you, up. You never know. You know, saying you got that element, and then you're in the small city. What you say, Valdosta, Valdosta Georgia. Georgia? Yeah, yeah. So in Valdosta, what the hell's Georgia, going on there? See. I have a cousin lives in Valdosta, okay. Georgia, and Valdosta, Georgia is on the border of Florida and Georgia. So I'm right about so, the area. So you're right about the area. So what I'm saying is, if you got, you know, small time justice, if your if your parents are of a certain status or hue, or yeah. sometimes sometimes hue of both colors, if you say if you are in a certain amount of power. That's not get. That's a cover up, right. and it's like that's small right. town justice. It's like that's you know that's Billy. That's Billy such and such, such and so son. That's you know yeah. that's Henry. His dad's a senator. His right, dad's, right. His grandfather was the mayor of this great. You know, you just yeah. got all these different small town adjustments that are made. Right. So I'm thinking if you got video that's being tampered with, I mean. Anytime video being tampered with, I mean, it was something happened that nobody didn't want to see. Yeah, but it could. It, so, so you're saying that the kids did do it. Yeah. Then they were raided right in the right house, but but if they was ahead because, of the FBI, okay. then how come they? And, and it saying, was corrupt. Then how come they couldn't just stop the thing, it from the, the beginning? The thing, mm. the reason why you can you can you have you can see it both ways. But the reason why I'm going with Mike on this, where I believe that it was kids, you got to think about the time. You had an elapsed amount of time where. If it was blood, okay. If it was blood supposed to be dripping from the body, what happened to that blood? I know this sounds fucked up, but I need to know more about Kendrick. Yeah, yeah. What's you the know what I mean? Like, like I need like, it. What's the history? If, if yeah. he's a wild dude, then right. I think it fits more. But what if? But I'm saying in a in a school like Valdosta, what? you could have. A, I mean, what I'm saying is, if it's seven kids go in the gym, right? What time are the these kids going in the gym? Midnight. It was. Oh, yeah, yeah. So if to me, you, it's cut and dry. Yeah, That's cut dry. We just gotta Bro, find the evidence to put if it this together. Was, if this the to middle prove of the it day, in court, but I know it was. It's twelve oh four p.m. It was. It was the day, man. Oh, twelve oh four. It was yeah. the middle of classes. Middle yeah. of classes. So you got seven kids going to the gym, right? right. Lunchtime. Lunchtime. Nobody in the gym. Kid right? never came home from school. Kid never come home from school. So nine times out of ten is one of those seven kids. Unless you have somebody coming on campus, killing people, wrapping them up. And freaking, but what on one of the cameras when it came back at the twelve oh four to one oh nine, they saw Kendrick again. It was like a little clip of him walking through in the bottom corner of the film. At what time? It was after it came back on oh. but, on, on one of the oh, cameras. But you see Kendrick's whole body, but they don't know if it was feet. manipulated. See, they think it, and then the rest of it flickers out. Like they they think that they did that on purpose to say, "Hey, here he is." So it wasn't the clip. FBI it was on kid, one of them. bro. Come on, bro. Yeah. That's, that's, yeah. that's scary. I, I, it I mean, is scary, scary, man. It is scary. That's yeah. that why I fucking talk about this shit. I never yeah. heard about that. What a kid I, what, what a kid was, so was laying pipe to the FBI door. Bro. Maybe. Oh, bro. Maybe. Bro. Bro, that is a bro. Wow. You know, it's a young teenage wow. love bit kind of weird. Well, well, there was only two boys though. Maybe he was laying pipe to the boys. You never know. <laughs> No, yeah. I don't know. I don't know, but you know, are they coming to check him because he laying pipe to the chick? But, but you know what they do in Dateline? If yeah. there's more than like four or six shots or something like, they call it a hate crime. Right. The fact that that man had a piece of his tongue missing, yeah, that sounds sweet. That's, makes it personal to yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. There was yeah. something personal that happened yeah. in that fucking place, and the fact that he had a piece of his tongue missing, dude. Yeah. That's almost like you can't scream. That's what they do, like for people that are rats or snitches. They say, yeah. you know. Ah, yeah, man, I don't know. Whoa. That's crazy, dude. But they, they, yeah, yeah, it's wow, dude. Yeah. So that just that's shows a, you, man. A, but I mean, I can see how your theory. If uh, I mean, if it's an administrator too, you got. It's think not a theory. It. It's conspiracy. Conspiracy. I'm just trying to mix I mean, it up. we'll see. Yeah, but, I didn't know those facts. Like FBI kids. Bad yeah, enough. but with all they that, they know being exactly said, what to do. Yeah. 
Yeah, well, I'm just thinking that it would make more up, sense yeah. in an area like that. Your parents. It would make more sense in an area like that where you you had to control the fucking system, man. This yeah. ain't dangerous mind. You're not just going to teach them and, and, and talk to them and be like, hey, you know, <laughs> calm down. Yeah, calm down. Please. I send Michelle. Yeah. You're not just going to send Michelle fucking Pfeiffer in there. Yeah. <laughs> And straighten these motherfuckers out. Nah, they, they need to send in the substitute, Tom Berenger. Right. So, so I'm thinking that you know they got to have some control in the system. <laughs> so, so uh, dude, it doesn't. It, look, man, I've seen crazier shit happen. That's all I'm saying. You know what I mean? I've seen crazier oh, shit happen. Right. I have, true. bro. I see it every that's fucking true. day. Yeah, that's true. So mm -hmm. I, it wouldn't surprise me that they got their own system in place, man. Checks and balances. They got the cops. They got the fucking principals and everybody in between all fucking working together in a small town that's right. fucked up. Yeah. That's like, fuck it, because dude. We run took, this bitch, if, not them. If they didn't bag and tag, right. that mean they're part of this. Right. It's a killer be killed killer society. Be yeah. It's a fucking us, or, yeah. uh, us not them, yeah. motherfuckers. And if you think about it, bro, if it's a body, even though it's fissiation, I mean, after a certain amount of time, that body going to drip blood. What happened to that blood? Right, that and why and there ain't blood, blood on that shoe? And why, if a blood is under him, why it ain't blood on that shoe? On the shoe, I on mean, top of the blood. I mean, somebody drained that kid. Yeah, and then threw the shoe then in threw there. The, then threw the shoe mm -hmm. and put the kid back in Because you, I mean, yeah, come right, on, yeah. bro. I'm no CSI agent, but that's crime scenes, you yeah, know, it just reeks of kids. Of you know, yeah. sloppy kid mistakes, you know, like that. The blood all on the wall. Yeah. But, but what's sad is that, look, yeah. what's sad, sweater, what's what's sad is they can't on. convict them. Shoes. Yeah. What, yeah. What's sad is that, what's worse, that or the fact that they can't even catch these motherfuckers? I mean, yeah, that's sad. sad. Yeah. I mean, because, that, it, I mean, you never, it's like one of those things you'll never well, find this, out. Like well, this case really has happened. been re reopened. That's the whole oh, story, yeah. right? They're reinvestigating this. I uh, know. CNN was. Nah, it's about? been dead, man. They let no. that shit go. They just said, "Fuck it, dude. It is what it is." But yeah. The, yeah, the police. They tried to talk to the police department, and they were like, "They, yeah. you know, they they let him in. Oh, you were seeing it. Come on in. You know, oh, and yeah, stuff yeah. like that." And then as soon as he asked him what he told him what he was there for, they're like, "You need to leave right now." They escorted him off the premises. Yeah, they wouldn't yeah. even talk about it. Yeah. And I don't know if they sent a black reporter on purpose, but. If, yeah. it, if it did get a message across, it, said, it made my ears perk up. I was like, oh, that looks sketchy. Yeah, that don't look that looks right. sketchy, yeah. man. But he Probably did. the mayor's kid. Yeah. yeah he said him fucking yeah, packing. Yeah. yeah. It could be something, you know, when kids young, their egos are young. So that with that right. being said, if they don't know how to handle, it could have been anything. Look, man. Okay, if I'm a teacher and I'm getting underpaid, I'm not making money, okay? Right. Let's be real, dude. Okay. And you're, you're a teacher that teaches across the hall from me. Right. We get high after work. Yeah. And we're like, man, fuck these kids. <laughs> fuck you know them what motherfuckers, man. man. Fuck these kids. I see that bitch. I see them out of school. I'm going to punch them in their throat. Like, right. <laughs> right. You think you think we really give a shit? Yeah. Like, yeah. like what's going down about this shit? And we got dangerous ass kids floating yeah. around, dude. Yeah. Like, like honestly, Some man. These, these motherfuckers here. are getting yeah. caught with guns every day. And you're like, fuck, dude. And they're talking crazy. Crazy shit yeah. to you in class. They're yeah. talking about like, yo, fuck you, yeah. motherfucker. I'll I fuck see you, you up. School, Mr. Johnson, you think I won't? Ass. Yeah, you think I won't bust your ass, Mr. Kavikis? <laughs> I'm like, you, what the fuck, man? Yo, leave yeah. me alone. You know, I, I don't. I'm just trying. She trying to shoot a jump shot, sir. Yeah. And they follow. <laughs> next thing you know, their older cousins are following you home and shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. you, and, you know, you don't want that shit. You don't want that. So you, gotta, you don't want that you shit. Stop it before it gets. So there. I honestly think, man, dude, some of these fucking places are really bad, yeah, dude. Yeah. Yeah. And and I imagine that you gotta you know what I mean like look out for each other. So dude, I'm not saying I think it would be very likely that uh -huh. they do work together in situations like this. Oh and yeah, they, and oh, they, yeah. and and they yeah. say they take out the trash, dude. Yeah. If, if it to. is, so I'm not saying hey, yeah. by I'm not saying Kendrick not. Johnson's That's trash. Not, no, I'm no, not no, saying no, any no, of that. No. I know nothing about him. No. I'm just saying hypothetically, I'm yeah. putting something out yeah. there. That's yeah. all I'm saying. Yeah, I see what you're saying. The kid, the kid got a bad deal, man. Fucking yeah. whatever the fuck happened, but, yeah, he got a bad way, deal. Either way, either way. Yeah, no I matter. Mean, I mean, I think he's innocent, dude. I think there's something sketchy happening. I mean, because I mean. No matter what, unless they 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 said that he killed. I mean, even if he had killed somebody, he still had to go. He should be able to go to court and get some kind of justice. But on on the flip side of that, they didn't test any of the evidence, bro. That's the crazy part. They didn't want to know. That's some FBI's my daddy yeah. shit. Yeah, that's 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 when they don't want to. That's know, some white bro. people shit. Yeah, some white people would say. They don't, don't want to know. They don't want to know. Damn it, man. So FBI came in and told that police chief, if you fucking ever say anything, I'll murder you. Yeah. 
Or even, or even, and sometimes, bro, it's not what well, people don't understand these days. It's not about murdering physically. They are murder your bank account, bro. <laughs> yeah. Fuck that. Think about it. Yeah. When you, I mean, <laughs> it's hard out here. Yeah. So I mean, it's hard out here for a pimp. They'll destroy your hard life out here for a pimp. Yeah. yeah. But I, I mean, you gotta be careful. You gotta be careful who you messing with. You know who you are dealing with. That's why I keep a tight circle. Yeah. Keep a tight butthole. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a good shirt. Keep a tight circle. Circle. Keep a tight butthole. <laughs> Shout out to. You. Mm-hmm. Shout out to. Tight buttholes. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, I'm done. I'm just getting done, man. <laughs> I keep a tight. Keep a smile. No, smile. but honestly, though, man, they fucking raided the FBI residence, and uh, there were yeah. two kids in there, man. I was like, okay, so like one one thing's enough for me. I'm right, like, okay, right, I can right. figure this shit out real quick, dude. Yeah. When the blood wasn't on the shoe, I knew some oh, fucked yeah, up it's shit. Like, whoa. But all you got to do is add the math as you go. Yeah. Right, Mike? Oh, you yeah. just got to fucking add the math. Oh, I didn't even Cut tell you. The blood on the wall, Pretty dude. Much. The blood on wall. Uh-huh. What blood in a fucking gym right. is, what? is left on a wall yeah. over one day? Over if there one. is, you're cleaning it off. Yeah. And this was a significant amount, dude. One of these trails of blood, it was trails. They were so big that yeah. they, they were ran down. So that's a person that's already leaking, dude, right. getting slammed up against the fucking right. wall. Right. I'm surprised it wasn't spatter. It was kind right. of weird how right. it was. But it was like, if it was spatter, it was one spatter, but they were all big drops. If, I don't know. It was, if, if part of his tongue was cut out, bro, yeah. that's just... Ugh, dude, God. it was, dude. Ooh. If you, it, it's hard to watch the fucking pictures, dude. I'm, I will not look at them again. Oh, they had pictures. They got Sean? pictures of them, dude. And you, you, you can see inside his mouth in this. You, can, they show you the tongue and everything, dude. Yeah. Okay, you okay. don't. Yeah, that's it's, too much for my. It's bad, dude. It yeah. Is, yeah, that's that's. It's bad. Yeah. I had to see, man, to look to see if he looked like he got battered, and he did, man. They said like he had blunt force trauma to the neck, dude. Right. That tells you everything, right yeah. there. You don't even need to look at the fucking scene. scene yeah. Blood form and, and for the, the neck, fact that, that you wouldn't take evidence it. after that, the fact yeah. that you wouldn't test evidence, yeah. get the fuck out of here yeah. with that shit, yeah. man. They didn't want to know, bro. Yeah, some big, 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 wigs, big wigs kid. Yeah. Say that five times fast. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> big wig kid. <laughs> yeah, well, money make the world go round. Money, money make the world go round. Fucking man, dude. Yep. Tell you what, dude. Get you expunged. morals expunged. We need to get our values and morals back, people, because there is. Yes, you right. Yeah, you're gonna have right. to die one day, and then yeah. what happens to you happens to you. Yeah. So that that you know, do with that as you may. But anyway, I know that was quick, but we're gonna take another break. We'll be back. Yo. <laughs>
Welcome back Lion Podcast Ladies and gentlemen, we got a a big deal, man I I honestly, uh, I didn't know how big the coronavirus was Yes, Lion Come, tame that lion, Mike You gotta tame him, buddy I'm sorry, man Keep that fucker on a leash That motherfucker on a leash Honestly, though, uh the coronavirus is some serious shit right now. Um, so we got a clip we're going to play to you j- real quick. And coronavirus. This coronavirus is a catastrophe on the scale of Chernobyl for China. But actually, it's probably worse than Chernobyl, which was localized in its effect. The coronavirus could result in a global pandemic. While you were all sleeping overnight, the number of diagnosed cases in China increased by 30%. Now, let me be clear, that's not new cases, that is just newly admitted cases. It is probably several orders of magnitude higher than that. Also, while you're sleeping, China now has its entire border with Russia closed, 2,600 miles Russia has closed that border. El Al has shut down travel between Israel and China. Air France has shut down China between travel between China and France. And that's in addition to all the other countries that have already shut down travel. From what we know so far, and there's still many unknowns, this virus could have both a long incubation period, as much as 14 days, and individuals could be contagious while asymptomatic, which was not the case with SARS in 2003. Furthermore, from some cases, it appears the virus could be aerosolized, which means it doesn't require the kind of contact that you have with, say, a married couple kissing each other or a family living in close quarters in a hotel or apartment, but rather the distances we are all sitting apart right oh, now. It's gone and airborne. China is still lying about all of this. Fuck. They've been lying about it from the very beginning, and you don't need... Lying. Their history of lying about SARS in 2003. Are you really surprised? Chi- oh, the Chinese are lying on those No, I'm scared. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck, I'm we not surprised at all. The first case manifested no <laughs> later than no later than December 1, even though China didn't reveal it to the WHO until a month later on December 31st. Where do you when go they <laughs> to hide it from their own citizens. And they continued to say that it had been contained inside Wuhan. Today, Wuhan. it is in every single province in China. They also claimed for almost two months until earlier this week that it had originated in a seafood market in Wuhan, that locals had contracted it from animals in, say, bat soup or snake tartare. All right. That is not the case. Yeah, that's, um, that's enough for me to know that, uh, fuck. So would you say that I'm not, that I'm surprised that they're lying, you know, because they did about SARS? Uh, no, not really, but I'm scared. Well, hopefully it'll, uh, <clears throat> stay in China. Well, didn't they already have a case here? I think in Washington state yeah. it was. Yeah. yeah. They had one like case or something. I think it was up to like 12 or some shit like that. Man. Oh man. They said it could be a global pandemic. That is scary. Yes. Fuck. I'm glad I work in a work truck and don't see many people. I'm just going to stay inside and roll my windows up. Keep Lysol on me. Fucking spray people in the face if they come near me. It's like, go away. I don't know, dude, but that's scary, man. I mean, in all reality, you know, It could only, I mean, can it kill a normal aged human being? Did we discover that already? Did we determine whether it could or couldn't? I know it could kill old people and young babies, right? Because their immune systems. That's what I was going to say. That's all weak immune systems, but. I've heard. But I don't know if it can kill the average person. Like, could it kill me? Well, if it's not treated, I guess. I do that yoga, man. I feel strong. (laughs) Can it kill me? I don't know, man. But it's a scary thought to know that uh, it's that big. So we just wanted to get that out there. We heard that clip. And, uh, yeah, 
It's a senator saying, um, shit your pants. It's safe. Safe to shit your pants right now because it's it's they're lying and it's worse than what we think. So so would would you get nervous if you came on some upon some Chinese people on the street and they're coughing and shit? Yeah, or not even that. Just like I've already seen plenty. Would of Would you Chinese be on guard? I live Chinese in Orlando, people. dude. Half saying. of these motherfuckers are Chinese. <laughs> I'm around them every day. Now, if they're coughing and shit, yeah, I'm like, oh shit, <laughs> run, run. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they're fucking looking all bad and shit. I'm like, oh. You don't see Asians that sick usually. They take care of themselves. They're like you know, it's just like you don't see them uh, on the side of the street begging for money. <laughs> you never see Asian yeah. bums. I don't know, man. It's uh, you know, people think Asians are uh, you know all healthy and stuff, but I think they have, you know, they they die young, younger than Americans. I wouldn't know about healthy. I mean, they don't. It's not like. Uh, I don't know. They just have a... I think what they do is they're very strict about their lifestyle and their diets and their studies, their curriculums, all that stuff. Yeah, man, they they take care of their stuff. But, uh, but yeah, by the way, a rap video came out. Remember what we were talking about, by the Asian discrimination of Harvard and stuff? Uh, uh, Asian dude made a... A Chinese dude made a, a rap video. I'm oh yeah, play, yeah. I'm gonna play it on the next segment show. All right, I'm gonna do it, but, uh, but it was it was pretty cool. I'm gonna sh- tell it to you later. But um, but anyway, yeah, man, it's uh, I I, I don't know, man. I uh, fuck the coronavirus. Yeah, man, because I remember uh, when you first saw. you first talked about it. You know, you way, yeah. way back, and uh, b- I blew it off. We did poo poo it off because. It wasn't, it wasn't on our front door. It wasn't, dude. It wasn't. I wasn't thinking that it was going to be something serious like this, dude. Yeah. Well, I did notice in the report that the reporter used sentences like, "These numbers are probably a lot higher." He was speculating. I know. So, how true is it, and how much higher is it? If at all, you know what I mean. Yeah. He was there was some speculation hopefully, in that. Hopefully, he wasn't going the bottom, you know, basing it off the bottom and, and and just predicting for the you know. In other words, not telling you what the ceiling is. Yeah, yeah. No. Oh, well, we well see. just make sure that you stay clean, wash your hands, and do what you got to do. Fucking stay away from. I know that's a good habit. I'm glad I got. I wash my hands a yeah, lot. Yeah, 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 dude. Yeah. You have to, man. I, I notice you do that shit, and I, you know why I keep so much soap on deck, dude. I encourage that shit. <laughs> wash your fucking hands. Yeah, yep. I got Lysol on deck. I got everything in here. That's got why. I, that's why I'm never sick, man. Because I don't have kids, and I keep that the supplies around that you need. Do those Lysol wipes and shit. That's necessary. Oh yeah, yeah. and it makes your house smell good. Wipes are great. Yeah. Yeah, I hardly get sick, and I got kid. Right. Well, that's because you're clean. I try to be. You look clean. I do? Yeah. Good. All right. I'm shiny. Yeah. You got a shiny hiney? Oh. Have you heard that fucking commercial? I hate that fucking commercial. It's the worst commercial ever. In fact, it makes me want to mock commercials like that and make just fake ones on this show. You want to do that and (laughs) just make some stupid ones? Yeah, sure. I want to do that. Yep. It sounds like a good deal. All right. Uh, that fa- Like that Trumpy Bear. You seen that Trumpy Bear commercial? <laughs> is that fucking real? I, I have not seen that. What is it? It's this fucking stuffed bear, and it's got a Trump wig on it, and it's like... Oh, uh, get the fuck out of here. I know. I swear, dude. It's like, I couldn't believe it was real. Oh, uh, yeah. Like, I mean, does it really surprise you? Well, they show uh, this, you know, the, this, you know, grandma, I love my Trumpy Bear, and then, you I'm know... I'm surprised they, they the don't kids, have a grab puss They show the kids, you know... <laughs> <laughs> they show the kids playing with our, their Trumpy Bear. Trumpy Bear, Trumpy Bear. <laughs> and then they show this big burly biker dude. Our ride the, are with, you our, fucking with me, dude? Uh, no, I swear. He's our ride with my Trumpy Bear. What and he's got it strapped to the front dude, of his what motorcycle. What the fuck are you talking? Oh, my God. I got to see this shit, dude. I got to see this Now, after see, the show. shit like that is ridiculous, you know. I That's funny, the president, dude. and that, that, that is not good for whatever, him. Dude. Shit like that does not help that man. It, it doesn't matter at this point. Who gives a shit? We all... The way we're so divided at this point, man. We're just trying to patch the fucking. Wounds. But it's just like that was just, dude. I could. I was watching it and I was still in disbelief. Yeah. I was like, this can't. Was be it real. funny? Bad though. 
Dude, it's 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 perfectly written to where you can't tell if it's fucking real or not. Oh, it's like, I see what you're saying. Because they're selling it. Order now and double. We'll give you two Trumpy Bears for thirty nine ninety five. That's you know? what it's called, Trumpy Bear. Trumpy Bear. <laughs> I, I'm not making that up. <laughs> it's out of control, man. Oh man, I do not want to switch the topic. But, Sorry, but face sweat like. Uh, his body was found. Near, oh damn! Uh, dude, you're bringing me down, Brown man. Yeah, dude. At the end of the show, I don't Come mean on. to do this, but but her body was found near the remains of an un- unidentified man, and police are now uh, treating it as a homicide. Dude, what's that about? So you think he killed somebody before her and threw him there and just threw her there too? I don't know, man. Uh, I have no idea. It's it's so much backstory to be. Discovered well, on that one, you know, it's weird because they're saying that she was stolen off the school bus when she got off the school bus. Then they said that she was taken at the house. So which one is it? There's like conflicting stories. It's weird as fuck. This whole thing is kind of weird right now. So I mean, it just happened. So I guess that's to be expected. I don't know, but nevertheless, it was pretty fucking weird to me when I heard that. I was like, okay, she was next to another body. And then now there's conflicting stories whether she was taken at the fucking bus stop or at the house. I don't know. So I don't. Yeah, this, the that's I you know, know you're, development. You're, Mike's white in the face right now, dude. I know, man. Talking about kids, he doesn't like that shit. But but hey, it just happened. So hearts out to the families. That's that's fucking terrible. I was hoping for a better outcome, but you know, sometimes, most times. That's that's why we got to be better. That's what that's why we're trying to do better, because shit like that, that little girl never should have. You know, damn dude, that sucks, man. Yeah, I got nothing. Yeah, it's all right, man. I understand. That's just like, ugh. Yeah. I didn't mean to kill the vibes. Yeah, yeah. it's tragic. Mike what else was, you want to say about it? Mike was man. so happy before that. He's like, why did you have to kill the party? I was like, bro, it's because man. it was on the list, man. I had to do it. Fucking bring me down, Brown. He's All like right. Tom Burgundy. If it's on the fucking <laughs> teleprompter, he's going to fucking read it. I'm going to master his handwriting, and I'm going to write some fucked up shit oh, one day so for him. Shit, dude, if you do that, that would be great. I'll, I'll be so proud of you, honestly, for mass because my handwriting is hard. <laughs> Uh, you got neat handwriting. I do. You write like my sister. Yeah, but it's different too. Like you're never gonna get my A's. Mm. You're never gonna get those A's. But anyway, you can't get my A's anyways. So hero of the day goes to Joaquin Phoenix for his speeches that he's been given lately. I like the dude. Uh, I like him in all his movies. I like who he is. I like I like what he stands for. Dude's a good dude, man. So hero of the day, Joaquin Phoenix. Shout out, buddy. Yes, yes. And uh, Clemmy is uh, had to step out for this last segment, but he had some special request shout outs. What yep. were those? Yep, Clemmy shout out is a five ninety nine subs at Publix this week or next week coming, in, and that's actually a very very good shout out. Oh yeah. I'm glad he said it. Shout out I'm, to Clemmy for shouting out the 599 subs. That's my shout out. Yeah. Yeah. And then he also says, and Buffalo Soldiers. So shout out to them. I want to shout out Mike Firehouse. Keep them subs coming. Uh, Kentrell, Brick and Spoon. They just opened on Wednesday. So if you uh, if you know what's good for you, that cage, it's Cajun breakfast brunch place and they are amazing. They're right there at the corner of Lake Lily in 1792. Other than that, thank y'all for coming out. God bless you. Good night.